learn to advocate for yourself? From school. I grew up seeing deaf teachers, and they always talked about uh, when you grow up and you're out in the world, you're going to have a hard time. People will take advantage of you and put you down and not give you your rights, and not give you equal rights. You have to stand up for yourself. I was like, oh, okay. And then once I actually saw it for myself, I started doing it. For example, I went to uh, McDonald's one time and took my sons with me. And I asked for a paper and pen so I could write. And they said, okay, just a minute. And they brought me a Braille menu. My oldest son was like, I asked my oldest son, do you know what that is? He goes, it's a menu. I said, feel it. He said, oh, it's got bumps on it. Am I deaf? I mean, are you blind? It's like, no, you're not. So we don't need that. So we just gave it back. I can see just fine, thank you. So, like I asked, could I get a piece of paper and pencil? And I even mouthed it. And they said, oh, here. And I was like, thank you. You know. And I didn't let my son do that for me. I did it for myself. I'm independent. You know, I didn't want to depend on my sons in that situation. So they gave me the pencil and paper, and then everything worked out. Thank you. Now, how was it that you acquired so much language and that you became a successful deaf adult? Was there anything that your parents did to help you acquire language? They signed, they communicated with me, that helped me understand language, and also captioning, too. I grew up, you know, I didn't understand anything on the TV or at the movies. Mom would always take me to the, to the movies. You know, it was mama-daughter time, and I didn't understand anything until I guess I was about eight, somewhere around there. And then the school passed out these captioning machines. You know, they used to be huge boxes that you had to add to the TV. And they gave it to certain students. And I happened to be one of the students they gave, gave the captioning to. And I took it home. We attached it to the TV. And every afternoon, for like for three weeks or four weeks, I just sat there reading the captions, trying to... Oh, it was so frustrating. I would cry because it was so frustrating trying to catch up with everything. And then finally get caught up with everything. And I thought, is that how people talk? Is that what it looks like? So that helped me with my writing as well. Signing is very different than writing. You know, I can't sign like I write. I have to write in English. And that was what the captioning was. So the captioning actually helped a lot, you know. The, the captioning and then, of course, my family signing really helped me to develop language. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to say, parents of young deaf children, before we close the interview? I would like to emphasize that language is the key. That helps with communication. My mom and the family were awesome for doing that. I'm very fortunate to have had that. I would try to encourage my students and their parents to be involved and learn sign, you know, learn their language, help them with their education. And that will lead to a success.